C295, everywhere in social media if you observe there is this C295 uh, discussion going on and this is a deal between India and Spain and also between Airbus of Spain and Tata of India. So this is a very important and strategic deal by India with Spain because considering the importance of the C295 aircraft we are going to discuss the important features of that aircraft and also in future in, in the coming video and uh, because of the importance of that C295 aircraft this strategic deal is very important and we are procuring around 56 of C295s from Spain and some of them are going to be manufactured in India's Vadodara plant so this plant has been inaugurated today by RPM Modigi and also the Spain counterpart Pedro Sanchez okay so they all they also did a road show in Gujarat and you can see the visuals of that road show also after this they have inaugurated this plant in uh, Vadodara where the Tata Advanced Systems Limited TASL will manufacture the C295 aircraft for the Indian Air Force and these aircrafts will replace the already aging Avro 748 fleet these are currently used by IAF and this with this C295 deal they will be replaced okay by the C295s so they are overall total 56 aircrafts are being uh, produced by this deal and uh, this facility will be the first private sector final assembly line for military aircraft in India and according to the statement of this prime minister's office this is the first private sector assembly line let's know a bit about more about this deal see this c295 was originally produced by the spanish manufacturer like constructions and aeronautic sa see so this company is part of airbus and aircraft manufacturing takes place in the airbus plant in spain so this deal happened in 2021 okay 2021 september india signed a 22,000 crore deal with airbus defense for this procurement of 56 c295 aircraft okay so under this uh, agreement airbus will deliver the first 16 aircrafts in a flyaway condition and uh, from its uh, spain plant within four years and the subsequent 40 they will be manufactured by the tasl in india the tata advanced system limited in here in this vadodara plant the other 40 will be man manufactured in partnership with the between the two companies so the 16 flyaway aircraft will be delivered between september 2023 and august 2025 and on september 13 2023 the iaf received the first of these 56 aircraft in spain and uh, this is the first made in india aircraft that will be rolled out of the manufacturing facility in september 2026 so the remaining will be produced by august 2031 already india has six of these c295s after the completion of this delivery airbus defense and space will be allowed to sell the aircraft manufactured in india to civil operators and uh, export to countries which are cleared by the government of india so this is very important part of the deal because india will be exporting c295s that are manufactured in india so what are the why these c295s are very important in this modern warfare and uh, what are the use cases of this C-295? See, generally we have uh, weapons and uh, aircrafts that are manufactured by US and sold by US. They are bought all around the world by every country. You can see the map here that uh, showcases the C-295 countries that have bought this C-295. You can see here Canada. Almost th all these blue uh, countries in this map are uh, the customers of this C-295. Even Bangladesh has bought this C-295. So now India is also part of this deal. You can see our India here. Now let's look at the specifications of this C-295 aircraft. It's a transport aircraft that can uh, uh, hold capacity of 5, ton to, uh, 5 to 10 ton capacity and a maximum speed of 480 km per hour. So it has a rear ramp door for quick reaction and uh, dropping of troops, para troops and uh, cargo and short takeoff. This is a very big advantage. See, it can... It, no need of big runway for this aircraft to, to launch short runway is also enough for these aircrafts and uh, they are prepared for uh, i mean not so accomplished surfaces also they can land and uh, these are some very important features of this c295 aircraft and also they are very popular around the world due to their versatility and reliability and uh, adaptability across various uh, missions so and also see they are they are uh, they are used in medical evacuation and the troop transport and surveillance purposes and also special forces operation disaster response maritime patrol they are versatile in terms of applications 
and they are very efficient in performance this twin or turbo prop engines that are present in the c295 they often balance uh, the fuel efficiency and operational capability of this aircraft and it has a long range and high payload capacity they can carry up to 71 troops and 50 paratroopers and uh, we already discussed the, the the weight of this i mean the up to nine tons of cargo it can carry and it can perform well in high altitude and extreme weather conditions which is very important for india's point of view for in the kashmir region and operational flexibility is also there in this aircraft they can be quickly configured for different missions and uh, for example it can be outfitted for maritime patrol and also for anti-submarine warfare and also for electronic intelligence or even firefighting operations also they can be used so this adaptability of uh, and also flexibility of for different missions is a very unique feature of this aircraft and also they are low operating and maintenance costs are there for the c295 aircraft they are they focus on see generally the maintenance costs of these aircrafts are very high right but for the c295 it is very low comparatively and this, this it acts as an economical choice for countries looking for a reliable aircraft in their fleets okay without any high expenses okay and also it is having a track record see with over 200 units in service worldwide this c295 has uh, a proven track record of reliability and durability in various environments and also these uh, it contains the modern avionics and technologies electronic warfare suits including advanced radar and uh, self-protection systems and navigation equipment all these were there in this aircraft for complex operations and complex scenarios and situations that occur in real time so many countries are operating this c295 aircraft you can see in the map here like spain india brazil you can see our india here and brazil canada mexico poland most of the countries are having these aircraft even bangladesh is also having this aircraft here so why because of this adaptability to a wide range of missions combined with operational cost efficiencies sorry cost effectiveness and also to ability to operate in different environments and so all combining all these it makes a popular choice among military and defense forces globally it also beats us aircrafts us is also trying to inspire from this c295s how why they are so popular and why they are so acceptable in various environments so for where we are using this uh, use cases of the c295 is that for the tactical airlift and for also the deployment purposes to deploy the troops in uh, various situations we need this aircraft and also for the logistic support to uh, continuously supply ammunition and also food medical supplies and fuel is essential for other flights right so for that purpose also this aircraft is used and also for resupply of forward operating bases so basically to logistical support is critical but uh, traditional land, land routes may be unsafe or unavailable right so for that purpose also this c295 aircraft is used and also for medical evacuation we already discussed this and now coming to the indigenous components that are used in this aircraft all 56 aircraft will be fitted with an indigenous uh, suits by developed by bharat electronics limited and also bdl bharat dynamics limited and uh, experts are of the opinion that this indigenous content in the plane will be highest ever in india and uh, that 96 percent of the work that airbus does in spain to produce the plane will be done at the manufacturing unit in Vadodara. so this is a very very big uh, advantage of this deal so this ability of uh, c295 will help in uh, along the borders of india and china and also maritime boundary so now coming to manufacturing facility advantages airbus already had uh, 37 local suppliers with uh, 33 of them being small and medium enterprises so to manufacture this various aircraft components that are being used for the development of this aircraft and approximately 14,000 parts in c295 aircraft uh, of that 14,000 parts 13,000 are expected to be produced in india gradually increasing the local content of each unit from 48 percent initially to 75 percent by the final aircraft so you can see that local local parts and local manufacturing facilities are also getting a big advantage in this uh, deal so you can see these are the parts of that aircraft of oh, these all minute parts 14,000 parts among that 14,000 parts uh, these are some parts that are showcased to our PM Moriji by uh, Spanish PM so you can see that Airbus behind a small uh, pseudo image so this is all about the deal of this Airbus and Tata and we will be getting the technology transfer also 
see most probably the experience that we get is very important here the tata employees or tata whoever will be participating in this project right they all will be getting so much of experience oh, uh, of course we will not copy the uh, the product of this uh, aircraft like uh, the chinese ones but uh, see the thing is that the experience that we gather from this project is very very important we also have that capable engineers in in, in our country to develop these projects so it's a very important deal for india yeah uh, because of this deal maybe the indigenous manufacturing of this kind of a crafts may 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 increase or may may emerge so that's it for this video and uh, if you like this content then please like share and subscribe to my youtube channel see you in another video bye bye